welcome back to my channel you guys i am so excited for this week because um i realized i've been slacking a little bit because i do have a lot of school work and i have to work also so i'm gonna go ahead and try to post a video every single day till friday so if i do that i'm gonna be really proud of myself but for today's video i do have a little bit of a mini haul i've been buying stuff here and there because y'all know i love to spend money and i like to try new things and see if they work for me so if you guys want to stick around and see what i've been buying recently then go ahead and keep on watching so the first thing i want to talk about is a dose of colors block party eyeshadows these are so freaking good i do have it on my eyes today so hopefully you guys can see it um but one thing i want to mention is they're 20 dollars a piece which is so much money but at the same time i do know i love these colors and i'll always use it so the first one i do have is encore and i do have it on my eyes today but let me give y'all a quick swatch if i can get it open so this is what it looks like when you open it up i will say the packaging is really really nice it feels very expensive all right and the next one is called lock and key this is like the bronzy eyeshadow i have always been looking for let me go ahead and show y'all it is so freaking pretty so this is what it looks like right here this is called lock and key and this one right here is called encore let me go ahead and give y'all a quick swatch like these are so nice all right so these are what the shadows look like on the back of my hand and in person trust me they're a little bit more glittery and shiny i think these are so nice also i do want to mention this past weekend if you went ahead and bought the eyeshadow on their website they gave you two free lipsticks so i did get the lipstick in the shade angelic and also bear with me you didn't get to pick what lipstick you wanted but still it's nice to get free lipsticks and i really do love theirs so let me go ahead and swatch the liquid one for you all right so these are the lipsticks right here the top one is a liquid lipstick and the bottom is just a regular lipstick they look very similar to be honest but at the same time they do look a little bit light but a lip liner can fix that all right so moving on to pop beauty i did go ahead and get a single eyeshadow this one is called goldie let me give y'all a quick swatch because i'm swatching everything at this point but i'm gonna put it right on top and look how bright this is like this is a gold gold all right Hopefully y'all can see that. Let me go ahead and layer it really quickly. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I think it's so pretty and so nice for the summer. I'm so excited to wear this. I think my mom gave me this. I'm not sure. I have so many gold shades at this point, but this one is a little bit different um, because it's a little bit more intense. So yeah, if you don't have it, go ahead and get it. If you guys don't know, I always struggle with finding the perfect lip liner because it's so hard. A lot of them are a little bit too waxy or too dry on the lips, but this one right here from Makeup Forever is called the Artist Color Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown, and I did get it two days ago. This is perfect, you guys. Honestly, it glides on the lips. It's very intense. I love the color, and I do have it on my lips today. It's just one of the best I have tried out there because I can go ahead and put a lip gloss on top, a liquid lipstick or a plain lipstick, and it just blends perfectly. So if you haven't tried this out, I do recommend going out right now and getting it because you can use it on your eyes and your lips. And also, it's $18, very creamy, very blendable. Just the best I have tried out there because y'all know the Urban Decay one I tried in conspiracy i did not like that one and i do think it was a little bit too waxy for my lips that's probably why i didn't like it but this one right here is a true pencil glides on the lips and it's absolutely perfect all right so moving on to skincare i did go ahead and pick up some products from dermalogica y'all know i've been talking about my skin because i do think it's important um a lot of people focus on makeup but if you don't take care of your skin before makeup it's kind of pointless all right so i did go ahead and pick up their power couple double cleanse right here and it does come with their pre-cleanse and their special cleansing gel the pre-cleanse you guys is so good because i used to go ahead and use makeup wipes and i'll probably use about five to six makeup wipes to take off all my makeup but with this you go ahead and put a few drops on your hand it does feel a little bit oily but you go ahead and rub it on your face and it removes all your makeup i think it's bomb and also the special cleansing gel i do like it but at the same time i do like a foamy cleanser like most high-end brands this one you do have to keep reapplying when it comes to their cleanser because it doesn't foam as well um, so I do like it because my skin has been acting right, but I don't like applying it over and over again. So moving on to the facial scrub, I have been trying a lot of facial scrubs out there, but when I went ahead and got my facial done, she was telling me that whatever I was using was breaking my skin out and actually making my pores a little bit bigger. And when she told me that, I was like, uh-uh, I have to go ahead and change that. So I did go ahead and pick up the Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub. This was $37 or $38. It's so expensive, but it is worth it. I go ahead and put a little bit of it on my hand, rub it on my face, and it just cleanses my face and also makes it really smooth for my makeup. So I really do recommend these products. I am gonna go ahead and get the full size of this one, even though it's gonna pain me because it's so expensive. The pre-cleanse by itself is $45, all right? This is $34, and then the special cleansing gel was like 30 something dollars, so yeah. 
I have to go ahead and start saving money because I don't have that right now. So the last skincare products I do have is the Ole Harrison Share Transformation Moisturizer. I hope I said that right because it's a mouthful. All right, so this I do love. It's my favorite moisturizer in the whole entire world. And the big size of this one right here is $60, but y'all know TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they got your back. So a quick funny story on this, when I went to Marshalls and got this, it didn't have a price tag. And when I went up to the front, they didn't know what to price it. And so they were calling everyone trying to figure out what to price it. And she said $13 or something like that. I said, okay, cool. Because I know it's $60. I know how expensive it is. Um, but yeah, go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Y'all know they have so many things out there. So a lot of people don't know that I do have natural hair. My hair is not relaxed. It is natural. Um, I always went ahead and used the Carol's Daughter uh, Koopa Chu Blow Dry Cream. I think that's what it's called. But of course, they had to discontinue it. And I freaked out because that's the only thing I've used on my hair for years. But I did go to Ulta and pick up the Bio Mega Behave Smoothing Elixir. This is the best I've ever tried when it comes to a blow dry cream. So about a week and a half ago, I went ahead and straightened my hair and a lot of people were asking me so many questions about my hair. I'm like, what is going on? Because a lot of people were asking if it was perm or if it was natural. I'm like, my hair is natural. Everybody knows that, right? So I went ahead and watched the video back and I realized my hair looked very healthy and strong and it was flowing and moving. I was like, all right, I think it's because of this product. Okay, so this one right here is only $9. The bigger version is about $18, $20. I want to go ahead and try it out first and I do love it so I will get the bigger one but this right here you guys if you look to blow dry your hair I really do recommend this so before I go ahead and end this video I do want to show you all these two shoes I got because I got them at a good price all right so the first one is the Adidas shoes you've seen this everywhere every single person has it out there I've always wanted to go ahead and buy this and I saw this at Marshall's no, no TJ Maxx for $29 something like that but very affordable very nice and cheap I mean look at these shoes like I'm so excited to wear these and then the last one I do have is the Steve Madden shoes they were having a sale I think at the store but I did get the bubble shoes that's what it's called a lot of people don't like these because I mean to some people they look ugly but for me I do like them they're like little sandals right here and they look so cute um, with shorts or a little skirt or something like that so i quickly want to go ahead and add these because i never do shoes all right so that's everything i do have for you guys i do hope you enjoyed my little mini random haul i have so many different things in this video hair care skin care makeup shoes like what am i doing but besides that don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one